subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man. You know, but yeah, you're right. The running theme show was hating. I show was tired of it, man, so I quit. Hmm. But I had a great run. Shout Incredible out to, run. Sh- shout out to J Mac. I love that. Can guy. you can you talk about y'all's relationship? You know what I mean? Because y'all y'all just always have seen like Batman and Robin. You know? J Mac, I'm proud of him now because he finally stopped being Robin, and 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 is taking ownership and I think sometimes when you have somebody there when you have your older brother there you know you can depend on him all the time you just lean on him and you don't even consider what your skill set might be and and Mac is really really good I what I commend Mac with is he's he's just determination man you know where others fail he will not (laughs) and and to test him is to see him break out his strength like I know I know his kryptonite you know I know what his kryptonite is but the rest of y'all don't. And y'all think the hate is hurting him. And I tell you, it, it was fuel for a whole career because he was doubted. He was doubted by his own mother. His mother, like, you don't got no voice for the radio, fool. <laughs> you know? So this guy, he, Baller, he, 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 like, really embraced the hatred. It just it made him feel good. It made him stronger. And I've And I watched it actually play out, you know, even in when you say he can't do something or he can't achieve something, I've seen him pull off some magical stunts and i'm like don't tell him he can't do it oh y'all did it so yeah but he's he's like i hate to call him like my little brother i'm just gonna call him my brother and i respect him and here's here's one reason why i respect Mac. this is early on in our friendship because this guy bothered me until he got on the radio and i really did not think he had the skills to be on radio but mac was great at one-liners Literally, that's how he got on the radio. Because I would be doing something in, in my ear. I could hear him say one little line. And I'll go to commercial. I'm like, what would you just say? Hmm. Yes. Da, da, da. i like, every time I'm on the air, when I go such and such and such, I want you to hit me with any other line like that. And Mac got really good at having these one-liners and being witty and funny. And I loved it. And uh, that's how that partnership started. But one day we were in the streets. The Rockets won. And this is Mac. He is probably a buck thirty wet. <laughs> and uh, some we gave we were giving out t shirts and this one girl we gave her t shirts. Some tall dude, taller than me, whips the shirt and took her from her. And you know, my brain instantly I, I, I don't know what I was tripping, but I instantly got into battle mode because I couldn't believe that this dude just did that. So we're about to swing, he about to swing, and Mac magically appears out of nowhere ready to go Hmm. so i'm like wow i was just surprised every time that there was time when it was time for combat this guy seems to be the most unlikely (laughs) physically ready for it at that particular time and he was always there and you know i had been in situations in high school you know when you in little gang battles and i don't you know but i've seen people run or abandon you and this guy never there would be situations that happen in a club and next thing you know, you know, things are about to happen. And Matt could have been somewhere posted up with some girl and magically he would appear on the other side hmm. ready to do that. And I'm like, I love this guy because he is going he's going to go down with you. And so I always love that about him. That's my little brother. Whatever he needs, he know I'm there for him. I'm happy for him now because of my situation. He got caught up in the matrix for a little bit and I had to clean it up, but he's, he's doing well and I'm proud of him. And, and, uh, I still love the place where I worked because if not for them, there is no me. I still love the city. And even with the hate, it built the character. It built the person. It made me who I am. The battles with the people who I would never talk to the battles with the people that we're the best of friends now. The battles that we've had that we just, you over there, I'm over here, but we'll speak when we see each other. It all made me who I am, and it, and, and I'm still happy to be a part of this city. It's part of my history, and no matter what, with every single one of these guys, be they the bad guy to me or the good guy, we all share a history, and you can never, ever erase me from none of your history even if you try, <laughs> even though I don't speak on it most of the time. I can never be erased from your history. So ultimately, the person that you hated the most is still an integral part of your life. And when you tell a story, 
at some point in time, you still have to side note me. Hmm. I take a little, I take a little like this, like that. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Yeah. But I don't speak on it. Uh, they know. Yeah. Even the ones that hate, they know too. So, yeah. I already Donnie, I, I, I appreciate, appreciate you coming through, I man. I appreciate this. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, some stuff we cleared up. Yeah. Some stuff we probably didn't clear up enough. I gave you enough information for you to go do your own research, though. <laughs> I think quit believing what people tell you. Everyone that talks to you, sometimes they just over here trying to pitch you something. Uh, do your own research and find out for yourself. But I will say this with all the stuff that I've done, it's never been, nothing that I've done has ever been done in malice. It's never been done in hate. Uh, if you thought that I hated you, I, I don't. Literally, I don't know you. You think I do. Even the ones that you think I know, we just crossed and passed. I don't know you. And Donnie, man, I, I appreciate this opportunity. I've watched your show. I uh, honestly, I didn't know you, but I like, oh, this guy, I just, again, you deal with so much hate. Uh, you, I probably thought that you probably didn't even like me. You don't know me. So I think it's so cool when, when, when I did see you for the first time. I'm like, oh, this, this guy don't... And, and, and it's, it, was, it was just cool to know, like, oh, this guy, he's followed you somewhat. Not that he hyper knows you or anything, but he's followed you somewhat. And he's appreciative of the career that you had because he himself is a DJ. So even outside of everything else, he just appreciates what you've done as a DJ. So I just want to say thanks for that, man. I, I, I've got the opportunity to be on this platform. <laughs> they got one of the greats there, one of the greats here. You most certainly know a trailblazer there. I got a chance to sit here with you on something that I've watched so many of my favorites uh, be on. And uh, you you asked me to be a part of it. And uh, I appreciate that, man. I, I appreciate the opportunity. Man, it, it was an honor, man. Like I said, this is a bucket list for me, you know. So, so thank you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. For sure. Well, hey, man, it's Donnie Houston Podcast. Man, had it. Hey, man, we out of here. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.